After the Israeli military rescued that 52-year-old, Kaid Farhan al-Qaidi, Muslim man, Israeli citizen, yesterday we had, or today actually, I guess, uh, their time, families of the remaining hostages, 108 still being held captive in Gaza, still praying for the safe return of their loved one. Let's start there this hour. Liat Koran is the cousin of Omer Shemtov, who's currently being held by Hamas in Gaza. Uh, welcome back. Thank you for joining us with your perspective on this story as it as it breaks, what do you think when you see a rescue operation like this reported? What goes through your mind? I mean, I think it's a miracle. Um, I get very emotional. I, I couldn't be happier for him and for his family. Eleven children got their father home. There is nothing more than happiness, pure happiness. And I also want it for us, but I know that realistically, um, it's not a way that we're going to get 100 and 108 other moments like this for, you know, reuniting families, 108 families that need to be reunited with their loved ones. I know that's just not a realistic um, expectation. How does your family and yourself manage expectations? I mean, how do you, you what, what kind of stories do you tell yourself? How do you keep yourself upbeat? I mean, how do you, how do you manage things? Because you're right. I mean, it, it, maybe it's not a realistic expectation, but you have to have hope, right? We have hope. We uh, pride ourselves in being optimistic, uh, constantly staying positive. Uh, I think there's, we've just told ourselves there's no other option of, but to remain optimistic. Uh, these moments of, you know, this rescue was incredible. It gives us hope and uh, inspires us to keep fighting daily. But at the end of the day, we just keep pushing forward to fight for a deal. We must have a deal for the negotiation signed to make sure that we have 108 other moments like this. This is an incredible operation. But we need, yeah, that's Omar. You, you need a ceasefire need deal. Home. You need a hostage deal, right? We need a ceasefire right? deal. We need to seal the deal. We'll talk about that a little, the message you'd like to send to the Israeli uh, government and its allies, the United States included, in terms of priorities here and what type of, of deal you'd like to see them cut with, uh, with Hamas. I mean, the other side is you need two sides, right? And, and from the reporting we've seen, Hamas just isn't willing to budge on, on a bunch of Absolutely. Uh, you, know, you do need to... We do need two parties, but we need to remind the world that uh, all, all relevant parties, all stakeholders, all negotiators must remain at the table. They must stay in a room, lock themselves in there until they come out with a successful uh, plan to go forward with the ceasefire. There is no other option. Um, we need the Israeli government, our allies, to ensure that these innocent civilians are brought home. There, is, there really is no other option. And we need to make sure that the international community continues to pressure Hamas. Yes, because, you know, if, if Hamas isn't in the room or Hamas just walks away from the table and, you know, I guess Israel and the U.S. and everybody else can do everything they want. But, again, you need two sides to it. Do you think Israel is, is, is doing it all it can to bring your loved one home? I'd like to hope so. Um, yeah. I'd like to hope that everyone is doing everything possible. But at the end of the day, I don't think anyone is doing enough because it's been 326 days now. And right. Omer is not home. 108 hostages are not home with their families. Yeah, that's the bottom line, whatever the intentions are. Uh, great news here on this rescue as we look at your uh, cousin, but they're not among those that is brought home. We wish you nothing but the best. We'll continue to cover the story um, every day. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.